esteemed guests, colleagues, ladies, gentlemen, and most importantly, our graduates of 2023. Good afternoon and welcome to the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences Pledge Ceremony. My name is Florence de Vries, and along with the faculty management team and all our staff, I'd like to extend a warm congratulations to our students who will pledge to uphold the values of this faculty and those of the profession you are joining. The Health Professionals Pledge is undoubtedly one of the most important commitments made by an individual entering a health profession. We trust that the commitment you make today will serve as your guiding light as you commence your professional career. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to all the family members and friends of our graduates sharing in this significant occasion with us. Thank you for joining in celebrating the success of our students and for your invaluable support and involvement during their years of study. Before we commence with the official pledge ceremony, I'd like to remind you that this event is being live streamed and that a recording thereof will be made available to you. Please accept my well wishes as you conclude your academic journey with us today. We will now observe the entrance of the academic procession. Please rise. Sorry, I just needed a slight adjustment. My name is Karen Vouchers. I'm the Vice Dean Learning and Teaching at the Faculty. On behalf of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, I hereby welcome the following guest to our pledge ceremony for MBCHB graduates, the family and friends of our graduates, our funding partners and donors, our colleagues from the Department of Health and our guest speaker, Prof. Richard Pitcher, faculty management, the deputy registrar, executive heads of department, heads of division, program leads, academic and support staff of the MBCHB program. And most importantly, our graduates of 2023. As the Vice Dean of Learning and Teaching at the faculty, 
I value the significance of alumni engagement and the role it plays in shaping the future of Stellenbosch University. Being an active alum goes beyond mere nostalgia. It's about fostering a lifelong connection with your alma mater and becoming champions for this faculty's values, achievements, and continued progress. Your engagement with us in the future will enable us to innovate, expand opportunities, and enhance the educational experience, empowering aspiring healthcare professionals to excel and make a meaningful impact in their respective fields. We trust that you will continue to help us in the future, inspiring growth and sustaining the spirit of excellence that defines our institution. Every year, the faculty invites a special guest to this event to share some words of inspiration as you, our graduates, embark on your exciting new journey. I would like to, take, I would like to introduce Professor Richard Pitcher. Richard Pitcher is a diagnostic radiologist. He is the outgoing head of the Division of Radio Diagnosis and the executive head of the Department of Medical Imaging and Clinical Oncology in the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. After completing his specialist training, he established a private radiology practice on the Cape West Coast from 1991 to 2001, before embarking on an academic career. Prior to his SU appointment, he served as head of the Division of Pediatric Radiology at Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital and the University of Cape Town in 2001 to 2009. Prof. Pitcher, we look forward to your message this afternoon. Thank you, Professor Baikis, for that most gracious introduction. Professor Miller, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, the Dean's management team, departmental heads, and esteemed guests, including, of course, our graduates and your families. It is indeed a privilege to address you this afternoon. And I extend my warmest congratulations to you our MBCHB graduates of 2023. And I welcome you to a special time and space in your medical journey. You have shot the rapids, braved the roaring white waters of your undergraduate years, and have just rounded the last pre-graduate bend on the river. You're now camped on a grassy bank beside a tranquil expanse of water in the late afternoon sun you are at the end of the beginning of your medical journey. But soon you will swap your undergraduate inflatable for a small, solo, whitewater kayak and set out on that longer, wilder stretch of river that is the final leg of your medical journey. The leg that will not only define your legacy, but will be defined by what you have become, by what lies within you. And we gather today knowing, in the words of Oliver Wendell Holmes, that what lies behind you and what lies before you are tiny matters compared to what lies within you. And this afternoon's pledge is indeed about what lies within you. It is testimony to and a celebration of your inner fabric. This pledge will serve as your lodestar your moral compass, your touchstone, as you metaphorically cast off from the riverbank on that final leg, for that symbolic casting off will mark the beginning of the end of your life as a physician. Yes, I challenge you to see yourselves now at the beginning of the end of your life's work and to start with the end in mind. The importance of such an approach was articulated in the first century of the Common Era by the Roman philosopher Seneca in his work entitled On Tranquility of the Mind. He wrote, let all your efforts be directed to some great thing 
and keep that end in view. And so what great thing do you have on your end view? What end do you foresee for the life that lies before you? What legacy will be yours as decades from now you round that last distant bend on the river and head for the bank for the last time in the late afternoon sun to set up life's final camp? In our fast-changing world, we don't know the specifics of your future careers, but it is in this rapidly evolving landscape that the pledge you're about to make assumes its deep significance. For the pledge is essentially timeless, its origins more than 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece. It has transcended the ebb and the flow of thought and belief through the ages and been refined in its passage across the centuries. It is the bedrock of the shifting sands of medical practice. And whilst this afternoon's pledge embodies humanity's deepest and timeless values, it has been crafted specifically for our faculty and so is unique to our institution. It is thus at once local and universal. And it is also profoundly personal. For although pledges have been made by generations of medical graduates through the ages, and despite making your pledge along with 270 fellow graduates this afternoon, the outworking of your pledge will be uniquely yours. It will have a particular nuanced resonance in you alone. And so I urge you to embrace and to hear its singular personal call on your life. For the Stellenbosch University pledge speaks to the highest road of medical practice. It speaks to the journey of a humble steward who is respectful, compassionate, caring, ethical, diligent, resourceful, reflective, sustaining, creative, and inquiring. And the power of the pledge lies in its capacity to shape the end from the very beginning. It speaks to the notion that the smallest action or reaction on your medical journey is an end in itself. In the words of Bruce Barton, sometimes when I consider what tremendous consequences come from little things, I'm tempted to think that there are no little things. And it is with this understanding that every action is an end in itself that your journey becomes de facto your destination and you arrive with each action that aligns with the pledge you're about to make. And so you will arrive each time your compassion brings comfort, each time your care brings relief, each time you seek a deeper understanding of another's worldview rather than entrenching your belief in your own, each time you display deep respect for a fellow human being each time you choose to give rather than receive. And you will arrive with each careful use of a scarce resource and with each contribution that sustains our planet and with each improvement in health outcomes. The list goes on. And so, carefully plan your life's journey Seek out each opportunity for arrival and do so with reverence. For yours is a clean slate this afternoon. And do not expect an easy ride. For although your life will be profoundly fulfilling as a physician, it will not be easy. The basic premise of M. Scott Peck's book, The Road Less Traveled, is that life is difficult. But if we expect life will be difficult, we transcend that difficulty and confront it, and in so doing, create
create courage and wisdom. And so, with each difficulty that you encounter, commit anew to your pledge, to your journey, and push on to the end. Remembering the words of Stephen Grelet, you shall pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that you can do, or any kindness that you can show to any human being, do it now. Do not defer or neglect, for you shall not pass this way again. I thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and our graduates. I am today's FISH, the Vice Dean of Clinical Services and Social Impact, and I'd like to thank Professor Pitcher for his insightful words this afternoon. Um, we have been heartened as he retires in, I don't know, five days or so, um, that you played in pushing new boundaries in the area of radio diagnosis in South Africa and really placing our faculty on the map in your specialist area. I hope that his words um, resonate with you and you can reflect back to, um, over the next months and years on what you've shared for us. So, Professor, thank you. So, to our outgoing class of 2023, you may recall on a warm day in 2018 um, that you were our first cohort of health professional students who in front of probably many of the same people, your family and your teachers, read aloud our entry commitment as you commenced your academic journey. At that time, we read it in the 11 official languages and sign language. Today, we've just um, decided to go a little bit smaller. Now, six years later, you stand before us to read the pledge. It is particularly poignant that it's been done, and it is made at this time in our world's history. Many parts of the world, there is war, hatred, and genocide, which fill our news headlines. This is particularly significant in the Middle East, in Palestine, in the Sudan, in the Ukraine. Health professionals have to make difficult decisions around health and freedom. Many have been killed for their beliefs. So as you read your pledge this afternoon, consider your future role as health professional in the pursuit of justice. So you are making this pledge in public to uphold the values of the faculty and the profession that you are joining. I'm going to shortly invite you to stand and read the pledge together with me after reading this, you will sign our pledge book that remains in the safe custody of the faculty. Each of you will receive a copy of the pledge in the three official languages of this province, English, Afrikaans, and Isiklosa. So we will first be reading the pledge in Afrikaans and then in Isiklosa. When these two versions have been read, I will request our graduates to read the Health Professional Pledge with me. Can I invite the graduates to stand and then invite my two readers? I see Wolfgang is on his way and Sia Nuvo, Sia Sino Buyo, um, who's also joining me. Okay. 
Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, we, need, we, need a, we need some height. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ek onderneem uit vrye wil en met die verskuldigde eerbied om een professionele geneeskundige te wees wat mense respecteer, na myself omsien en ander met waardigheid, integriteit en deernis behandel. Ek heg waarde aan wie ek is en kan word. Net soveel soos wat ek waarde heg aan ander vir wie hulle is en kan word. Ek sal te alle tye poog om patiënten sy vertrouwelijkheid te verseker en die hoogste ethische standaarde in my praktijk te handhaaf. In een immer veranderende wereld sal ek een skierige, kreatieve en nadenkende professionele gezondheidswerker bly, wat respect betoon vir die diverse ideologieën, idees, kontekste en oplossings wat vir mense, gemeenskappe en bevolking saak maak. Ek sal met ander as gelijke vernoote saamwerk in die strewe na uitnemendheid in mensgecentreerde zorg. Ek verbind my daartoe om een voorspraak vir sociale gerechtigheid te wees en ek sal my bearbeid om die levensomstandighede, verzorgingservarings en die gezondheidsuitkomste van diegene wat aan my zorg toe vertrouw word te verbeter. Ek kan voor my verantwoordelijkheid om te help om een volhoudbare toekomst vir allemaal te bouw ter holbronne met zorg, creativiteit en eiwer aan te wend. Ten slotte sal ek te alle tye poog om zorg te voorzien wat hulp verleen en geen skade berokke nie. Dankie. Mna ndi funga ndi kululeki ili nangokuzi toba, ndi siti ndi kuya kuba inga liye zembilo. Eba sloni payo abandu, ezi katale layo, nepata abanya abandu nge siti ima, invezego no tando. Ndi mkabisi ili lomtu ndi nguye, na loo ndi ya kuze ndi benguye. Na njengoko ndi bakabisi ili nabanye, noko bakuko, kwa noko baya kubakuko. Ndi sakuza mangama kasha onke, ukuzi kusha imfilo zizi kulane. Kwa ye ndibambelele kwa yon namika nga toyo kuzipata ipe zulu, emsebe nzini wamu. Kwa ili shabati li kukukukuka mishale, diza kushala ndi inga li eze mbilo, eka vileyo, e ilayo, netukayo. Ezi shoni payo indela zoku tinga, ezi nga faniyo, imbono, imeko, nezi sombululo, ezi kabiseki leyo eba nduini, elu nduini, na kulizwe ngu kubanzi. Diza kusebe nzi sana na banye, jenga mashaka ni amu. Endi linga na yo na wo, ukuza ma ukubango kwe sayo, kuinka talo e chuliswe kumtunga mnye. Dizi bo pelela e kubeni ngumeli wabulungi isa kuintalo. Osebenze la ukuputu la imeko zo kupila. Inka talo e funyanwa ngabo, dinigwe ukanduwa lo kubakatalela. Kwa yendi putu le nezi pumo zembilo yabo ngokunjalo. Dialo mke la ukanduwa, lo kunetisa uku waka ikamwa, eli kubeke kayo, lake wonke ubani, Lake wonke ubani, kukusebenzisa imi tombo, genga talo, ubutule, ne ngutalo. Oko kubela, nga wo onke ama tresha, ndiza guzama, ukubonelela, genga talo, inga itayo, inge hiyo, eye nzakali sayo, engosi. So, well, thank you, Wolfgang. And Sinuvuyo, while we wait for you re to return to your classmates, I'm now going to ask all the other graduates, um, health professional graduates in the audience, to stand and to join us as we together read the pledge. I'm expecting most of you to stand on this side. Huh? <laughs> and any of the parents, friends, and family who want to also join us. Let's start. I humbly and I freely, sorry, let's restart this one. <laughs> I freely and humbly pledge to be a health professional who respects people, cares for myself, and treats others with dignity, integrity, and compassion. I value who I am and can become as much as I value others for whom they are and can become. I shall strive at all times to be <coughs> integrity and to uphold the highest ethical standards in my practice. In an ever-changing world, I shall remain a curious, creative, and reflective health professional, respecting diverse ideologies, ideas, contexts, and solutions 
which matter to people, communities, and populations. I can put this as equal partners in striving for excellent in person centered care, to be an advocate for social justice, working to improve the living conditions, care experiences, and outcomes of those entrusted to my care. Accept my responsibility to help build a sustainable future for all by using resources with care, creativity, and diligence. Finally, I will at all times endeavor a care that helps and does no harm. You may take your seats. I now call upon Professor Almi Muller, the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, to read the names of our graduates, and Dr. Derek van Fieren, the MBCHB program leader, and Dr. Fada Bray, who they will share the 271 names today, or um, graduates today, to present them with their pledge scrolls and prizes. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of our graduates in the MBCHB program. I would like to ask that we do not clap after each person, but after a whole group has received their pledge certificates, um, unless, of course, it's somebody who received a lot of prizes. Um, I now call upon the graduates of MBCHB to come forward and receive your pledge scroll. I will be also announcing the individual module prizes. So please collect your prizes and your pledge scroll and then make sure you pose for a quick photograph before you move uh, off the stage. Our first graduate, Siddika Abdullah, with three distinctions, primary health care, ENT, and ophthalmology. Velaritu Vivek Abraham, distinctions in ENT and ophthalmology. Muhammad Lutfi Abrams, with distinction in ENT. Rushta Adam, three distinctions ENT, ophthalmology, and primary health care. Abdul Aziz Adams passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions. <laughs> Internal medicine, primary health care, ENT, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and surgery. Aldine Dionise Adams, who passes the degree cum laude with five distinctions, <laughs> orthopedics, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT. Craig Alden Adams, with a distinction in primary health care. Rayana Adams. Karen Amy Agalas with distinctions in ophthalmology and primary health care. Dante Alberts with distinctions in primary health care and ophthalmology. Tanya Alexander with three distinctions primary health care, ENT, and anesthesiology. Yumna Anvirkala with distinctions in ENT and primary health care. <laughs> Mar 
Mahmoud Arendt, Distinctions in Primary Health Care and Orthopedics. <laughs> Alia Ariftin, with a distinction in anesthesiology. <laughs> Nurunisa Astri. Six distinctions in primary health care, ENT, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Ayat Bailey, with distinctions in primary health care and ENT. Nzalu Baloyi, distinctions in ENT and primary health care. Anya Bum, with five distinctions primary health care, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, ENT, and orthopedics. Donna Catherine Marshall Bix, who passes the degree cum laude and has nine distinctions <laughs> obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, primary health care, ENT, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. Victoria Margaret Beaker, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions. <laughs> Internal medicine, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, orthopedics, ENT, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. Lisa Maria Benjamin, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, and peds. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Byrne, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, Ops and gynae, pediatrics, internal medicine, psychiatry, surgery, primary health care, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, ENT, and orthopedics. <laughs> Brian Dean Bayer, who also passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions. Anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, urology, ophthalmology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. Tenya Barrett. <laughs> Trisha Uma Barwan. Six distinctions. Orthopedics, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, and pediatrics. Rebecca Dawn Bibergall, distinctions in primary health care and ENT. <laughs> Pierre Blichnout, with distinctions in ophthalmology and ENT. <laughs> Yushra Bouli, distinctions in ophthalmology and urology. Mariam Bouli Ismail with five distinctions in pediatrics, primary health care, orthopedics, ENT, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Simone Nicole Boyson. Anina Bosov, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions in ENT, orthopedics, anesthesiology, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. 
Emma Johanna Bosman, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions. <laughs> Pediatrics, Ops and Gynae, Internal Medicine, Primary Healthcare, ENT, Anesthesiology, Orthopedics, Ophthalmology, Surgery and Urology. <laughs> Astrid Adil Botman, with four distinctions in Internal Medicine, Ops and Gynae, Primary Healthcare and ENT. Michael James Boyd, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions, internal medicine, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, ENT, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. Can you just come back? <laughs> because I'm, I also have to announce your prizes. <laughs> So um, Michael also wins the prize for the best performance in the module of ethics. It is sponsored by MediClinic via the Center for Applied Ethics at Stellenbosch University. And he also wins the Dean's Award for the best student intern assignment. The topic is a rare case of pericardial cystosomiasis with his supervisor, Prof. Angela Dramovsky, Department of Pediatric Infectious Diseases, Pediatrics and Child Health. Congratulations. <laughs> Kiana Brudel, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions in pediatrics, ops and gynae, internal medicine, ENT, psychiatry, primary health care, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology, and who also wins the prize for the best student in the domain of surgery for 2023, sponsored by the Division of Surgery. Talia Brilyal, Brilyal, the three distinctions in pediatrics, ENT, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Tessa Louise Brook, who passes the degree cum laude with four distinctions, ops and gynae, ENT, anesthesiology, and ophthalmology, and who wins the prize for the best final year student in ENT, it is sponsored by the Division of Otorhinolaryngology. <laughs> Sarah Joy Camp, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions. Ops and gynae, psychiatry, internal medicine, primary health care, ophthalmology, orthopedics, surgery, and wins the prize for the Rural Clinical School Student of the Year, <laughs> awarded to a student that makes an exceptional contribution to improve community interaction and the health of a rural community. The prize is sponsored by the Okwanda Center of Rural Health. <laughs> Josie Ann Kupelu, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions, Internal medicine, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, ENT, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Nathan Vernon Carlson with three distinctions ophthalmology, urology, and anesthesiology. <laughs> Johan Champion with distinctions in pediatrics, ENT, primary health care, and ophthalmology. Nita R.T. Chavda, with distinctions in ophthalmology and primary health care. <laughs> Gerard Roger Chetty. <laughs> Tessia Nicole Chetty, with three distinctions. ENT, ophthalmology, and ops and gynae. <laughs> oh.
of Rosie Chikte with a distinction in ENT. Chien Chiu with four distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, and ops and gyne. <laughs> Kari Silyer with a distinction in primary health care. <laughs> Esmarie Klute with four distinctions, ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, and psychiatry. Inke Yaeli Klute, three distinctions in orthopedics, ophthalmology, and internal medicine. <laughs> Cyrus Dasu, distinction in ENT. <laughs> Jessica Rachel Davis, who passes the degree cum laude. She has distinctions in ops and gynae, pediatrics, internal medicine, surgery, orthopedics, primary health care, ENT, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Anya Nicole de Clerc, who passes the degree cum laude with five distinctions, pediatrics, psychiatry, primary health care, ophthalmology, and anesthesiology. And Therese de Clerc, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions, primary health care, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, surgery, orthopedics, and psychiatry. <laughs> Daniel de Villiers, six distinctions, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Anandi de Witt, Distinctions in Anesthesiology, Primary Health Care, Ops and Gynae, and Internal Medicine. <laughs> Glenda Elsebe Dietrich with distinctions in ENT and Primary Health Care. <laughs> Owetu Dayasi. Alex, Alex Leslie Duplessis with a distinction in primary health care. <laughs> Grisel Marinda Duplessis who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, pediatrics and internal medicine. Isabella Duplessis, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, ops and gynae, internal medicine, and pediatrics. <laughs> Wade Stanley Wardley Duplessis, with a distinction in orthopedics. Annika de Toy with a distinction in primary health care. <laughs> Carly de Toy with six distinctions, ops and gynae, ophthalmology, surgery, urology, anesthesiology, and ENT. <laughs> Michaela Megan Dunn. Raisa Ibrahim with a distinction in surgery. <laughs> Ramiz Ibrahim with a distinction in anesthesiology. <laughs> Alicia Engelbracht with four distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and primary health care.
Josephine Engelbrecht, who passed the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions in pediatrics, surgery, psychiatry, internal medicine, primary health care, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, ENT, urology, and orthopedics, who also wins the prize for the best final year student in the domain of psychiatry for 2023, sponsored by the Department of Psychiatry, and who wins the prize for best performance in the domain of ophthalmology, sponsored by the Division of Ophthalmology. <laughs> Sumeya Siri Anjuji, two distinctions, anesthesiology and ENT. Mia Erasmus, Distinctions in Anesthesiology, Orthopedics, and Ophthalmology. <laughs> Zahira Esak, Distinction in Internal Medicine. <laughs> Aisha Esak, with a Distinction in Anesthesiology. Rayana Essa, Distinction in Anesthesiology. <laughs> Lue Esop. <laughs> Kanya Zimasa Annelisi Win Tandikazi Fadana. Distinctions in Ops and Gynae, Primary Health Care, and Ophthalmology. <laughs> Rahma Fakir with a distinction in Anesthesiology, ENT, and Ophthalmology. <laughs> Alia Fakir with a distinction in ENT. Nadia Ferris with a distinction in anesthesiology. <laughs> Nawaz Furfurai with distinctions in anesthesiology and primary health care. <laughs> Lynn Fisher, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions. Orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. <laughs> Tatum Rejan Flandorp. <laughs> Naimi Frenzel, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions. Anesthesiology, ENT, orthopedics, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, psychiatry, internal medicine, and who wins the prize for the best final year student in the domain, ops and gynae. The prize is sponsored by the Department of Obstet Obstetrics and Gynecology. Michaela Frieslar, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions. <laughs> Pediatrics, ops and gynae, psychiatry, internal medicine, primary health care, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. <laughs> Mika Futcher, with a distinction in obstetrics and gynecology. Amar Gabriels with a distinction in ENT. <laughs> Ziyad Gaby with distinctions in anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT, and who wins the prize for the best performance in the domain of anesthesiology and critical care. <laughs> Fatima. 
Verdau Galant, Three Distinctions, Anesthesiology, Primary Health Care, and Pediatrics. <laughs> Nomfundu Nokulunga Gasa. Issa Marie Geiba, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions, psychiatry, ops and gynae, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT. <laughs> Amalia Geldenhuis with four distinctions, primary health care, orthopedics, anesthesiology, and ophthalmology. Sinuvuyu Siyanda Lolwetu Gitiwa. Aquila Gulam with a distinction in ENT. Lika. Sizinzo Trocorbo, distinction in ENT. <laughs> Olona Gubefu with two distinctions, ENT and ophthalmology. Nonsikilelu Marcia Guala, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions. Internal medicine, pediatrics, primary health care, orthopedics, ENT, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. Christy Lee Hogelthorn, who passes the degree cum laude with five distinctions, ENT, ophthalmology, surgery, primary health care, and ops and gynae. <laughs> Monique Haman, with two distinctions, ENT, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Tianka Linnell Hanukum, with three distinctions, primary health care, anesthesiology, and ENT. Keaton Harris, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, and who wins the prize for the best performance in the domain of family medicine and primary care, sponsored by the South African Acad Academy of Family Practice and Family Physicians. <laughs> Gasina Hassan with a distinction in ophthalmology. Amy Hess, with distinctions in ophthalmology and orthopedics. Vuisa Sibongile Hlakanyana. Runewa Khlongwane. <laughs> Miyager Maristine Hollenbach with a distinction in ophthalmology. <laughs> Maxwell Graham Holliston from dis a distinction in ENT. Tasneem Ismail with a distinction in primary health care. Ayesha Jade with distinctions in primary health care and anesthesiology. Anika Jamali with distinctions in anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and ENT.
We arm JASIM with six distinctions, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, and pediatrics. <laughs> Jung Win Jin, distinctions in ENT and primary health care. Bradley Joshua Johnson, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, internal medicine, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. <laughs> Asifesande Juleka. Muhammad Saleh Kafar with a distinction in primary health care. <laughs> Karen Kamwanye Kalombu with five distinctions internal medicine, primary health care, anesthesiology, orthopedics, and ophthalmology. Amira Karim, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, anesthesiology, ENT, orthopedic, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, internal medicine, and who wins the prize for the best overall student in the module Principles of Therapy 141 in MBCHB1 in 2018. <laughs> Michaela Karsten with five distinctions, primary health care, ENT, anesthesiology, orthopedics, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Tasia Kaskar with distinctions in primary health care, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and ENT. <laughs> Ngombe Sara Kayembe. Angus James Kennedy Smith with four distinctions, ENT, ophthalmology, urology, and internal medicine. <laughs> Werner Kaiser, the distinctions in primary health care, ENT, and orthopedics. <laughs> Tsebisu Kuale. Uzair Khan, distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, and ops and gynae. <laughs> he Ju Meli Kim, distinctions in primary health care, orthopedics, ENT, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Karu Kirsten, distinction in primary health care. Cody Kirsten with distinctions in primary health care and ENT. <laughs> Ongeziwe Kufa. <laughs> Neha Kumandan. Emya Langefeld, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions, orthopedics, ophthalmology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. <laughs> Mila Sandra Latechan, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions, orthopedics, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, internal medicine, and ops and gynae. 
Dirk Cornelis Leroux with distinctions in orthopedics, anesthesiology, and ENT. B. Kokobeju Ledwaba with distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, and urology. Sang Un E with distinctions in primary health care. <laughs> Melissa Ann Littlefield, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions psychiatry, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. Peter John Lombard with a distinction in Ops and Gynae, Surgery, Primary Health Care, Ophthalmology and Orthopedics. <laughs> Natalie Ann Lowe. <laughs> Vinolia Boikanyu Maserame Lucas. Danielle Lüttich, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, anesthesiology, pediatrics, ops and gynae, internal medicine, psychiatry, ophthalmology, ENT, surgery, orthopedics, and primary health care, who also wins the prize for the best final year student in the domain pediatrics and child health, which is sponsored by the Department of Pediatrics and Child Health. Zoe Nolita Majorman. <laughs> Kanisa Makatu with a distinction in anesthesiology. Lavani, Lavani Lun Maluleke with distinctions in ophthalmology, surgery, and ops and gyne. Philippine Malumane with distinctions in ophthalmology and ENT. <laughs> Ilias Manam, distinctions in primary health care and ENT. Lilita Mancia, distinctions in orthopedics and ENT. Amira Manuel, with distinctions in ENT and ops and gynae. Albertus Weinand Christoffel Marie, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, anesthesiology, primary health care, internal medicine, pediatrics, ops and gynae, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. <laughs> Vutalhari Precious Maringa. Alyssa Maritz with distinctions in anesthesiology, ENT, ophthalmology, and primary health care. Richard Daniel Marshall, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, internal medicine, psychiatry, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology.
Marily Mathieu with distinctions in anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and primary health care. Lunti Malisele Matibe with a distinction in ENT. Pavalu Makau, distinctions in ENT, anesthesiology, and ophthalmology. Abdur Razak Matthews, with distinctions in anesthesiology, ENT, and ophthalmology. Zainab Mayet with distinctions in anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, orthopedics, and opsangaini. <laughs> Michelle Denise Mento. Adele Mayer with distinctions in primary health care, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Nina Marlene Mayer, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions, ENT, Ops and Gynae, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and surgery. Anatsu Mefenyana. <laughs> Dorcas Aju Minla with distinctions in ENT and primary health care. Nieleti Natasha Mkabela with distinctions in ophthalmology and primary health care. Subeka Porsha Mkise with distinctions in primary health care, ENT, and orthopedics. Sibon Gumzuzu Sinotolo Mkand Nasi. Lutandu Terence Espumelele Nkomezulo. Nondu Misu Ngomezulu. <laughs> Saneli Siwe Nukunyana Mguni. Distinctions in ophthalmology, anesthesiology, and ENT. Mfumu Kevin Mnisi with a distinction in ENT. Kile Bokile Ophelia Muhutsiva with a distinction in primary health care. Zara Moidin with a distinction in ENT. <laughs> Neyu Monhalo with distinctions in ENT and anesthesiology. Connor Chat Montague, who passes the degree cum laude with distinctions in ENT, primary health care, and anesthesiology. <laughs> K. 
Timothy James Morris, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, internal medicine, psychiatry, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology, and who wins the prize for the top student in urology in 2023, sponsored by the Division of Urology. Leratu Letu Musia with a distinction in ophthalmology. Kamuhelu Mandy Motswinning. Christine Mouton with distinctions in ENT, primary health care, and ophthalmology. <laughs> Nandipa Blessing Mponda, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions. <laughs> Psychiatry, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, ENT, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, surgery, and urology. Clean de Kahle, Nolotandu, Msane, with a distinction in ophthalmology. <laughs> Amara Mukkadam. Roli Huva Mukoma. <laughs> Distinctions in orthopedics, ophthalmology, primary health care, and ops and gynae. <laughs> Amina Mukadem. Distinction in ENT. Parina Naidu, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions, ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, internal medicine, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. <laughs> Alisa Nodia, distinctions in orthopedics, ophthalmology, primary health care, and surgery. <laughs> Leah Lauren Nell, with eight distinctions, ENT, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. <laughs> Uhone Faith Nechiuzwi. Distinctions in primary health care, ophthalmology, and surgery. Natasha Nguenya with distinctions in orthopedics, ophthalmology, and primary health care. <laughs> Rachel Asimwe Njende. Nivot with distinctions in ENT and primary health care. <laughs> Villa Marie Nivot, distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, and ops and gynae. Hajar Nurdin, distinctions in surgery, ENT, orthopedics, and ophthalmology. <laughs> K 
Kula Sande Mkebene. Luyanda Melissa Tunzela with distinctions in ENT and ophthalmology. Halima Olday with distinctions in primary health care. Salumin Wistaisen with distinctions in ophthalmology and primary health care. <laughs> Carmen Lynn Memory Ortel with distinctions in ENT, Opsangaini, primary health care and ophthalmology. <laughs> Amy Page with distinctions in anesthesiology, primary health care and ENT. Hamida Parker with distinctions in primary health care, anesthesiology, and ENT. <laughs> Kautar Jamila Parker, who passes the degree cum laude and has seven distinctions in pediatrics, ops and gynae, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT. Taskeen Parker, distinctions in ENT and primary health care. <laughs> Mariam Patel, distinction in ophthalmology. <laughs> Nicole Rubain Peterson, distinctions in ophthalmology, orthopedics, primary health care, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. <laughs> Matimba Proceed Pachlela. <laughs> Chatwin Luke Phillips. Timbakazi Nomane Potawa. <laughs> Kelton Rees Poltney, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions in pediatrics, ops and gynae, internal medicine, anesthesiology, ENT, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and surgery. Eleanor Pretorius, who passes the degree cum laude with 10 distinctions, psychiatry, orthopedics, ENT, anesthesiology, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, internal medicine, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. <laughs> Felix Hubert Rabe who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions in orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, ophthalmology, surgery, urology, primary health care, and internal medicine. <laughs> Vudi Ravutsi, distinction in ophthalmology. Habiba Rawut with a distinction in anesthesiology. (laughs) 
Noreen Rawood with distinctions in ENT and anesthesiology. <laughs> Kaila Nicole Ritchie, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions, anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary health care, ops and gynae, pediatrics, and internal medicine. Hildegarde Cecilia Roberts, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions in ops and gynae, internal medicine, pediatrics, primary health care, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT. <laughs> Jamie Rogers, with distinctions in ENT, primary health care, and ophthalmology. Lara Amanda Rousseau with distinctions in orthopedics, ophthalmology, and internal medicine. <laughs> Jamil Ahmed Roiker with distinctions in anesthesiology, surgery, urology, and ENT. The Nowen Reuters with a distinction in ENT. <laughs> Muhammad Kider Salam. <laughs> Shannon Samson with a distinction in ENT. Tatum Jill Samuels with distinctions in primary health care and anesthesiology. <laughs> Mustafa Sattar with distinctions in ENT and primary health care. Nolan Skuman with distinctions in anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and internal medicine. Emma Skriba, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions in psychiatry, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, internal medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, and pediatrics, and who wins the prize for the best performance in the rural elective sponsored by the Okwanda Center for Rural Health. <laughs> Wade Rowan Siederman with a distinction in ENT. Hugh Seaton with a distinction in surgery, primary health care, ophthalmology, and orthopedics. <laughs> Luyanda Daphne Shabangu. Sandiswa Luyanda Shange with distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, and primary health care. Nkavelu Shivambu with distinctions in pediatrics, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and ENT. Hedisi Lidukuchle Sibia with distinctions in ENT, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Abigail Anri Sieberhagen with distinctions in pediatrics and primary health care. Linda Kuchle, Kreti, Simelane, with a distinction in ENT. <laughs> 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 
Katlehu Selina Sitole. Yancy Slubbert with four distinctions in surgery, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, and orthopedics. Charles Pietrus Smith, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions in ENT, primary healthcare, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Megan Petrie Smith, with six distinctions in ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, primary healthcare, psychiatry, and ops and gynae. Moya Sophie Smith, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions in obstetrics and gynecology, primary health care, internal medicine, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, orthopedics, and surgery. <laughs> Lurika Sikalawa Sohobo. Vuyu Sonchaka with distinctions in anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and primary health care. <laughs> Timna Achumile Sotiatu with distinctions in primary health care and ophthalmology. Sinead Spencer, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions in ENT, orthopedics, psychiatry, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, and ophthalmology. <laughs> For Rosa Stellenboom, with a distinction in ENT. <laughs> Kayla Swartz. Kamvakwama Kwayiya Tambakile. Distinction in ophthalmology. Glenn John Thatcher, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions. Anesthesiology, primary health care, pediatrics, ops and gynae, psychiatry, ENT, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Kaylin Taylor Torp, who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions surgery, orthopedics, ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care, psychiatry, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. Langilani Vokati Tlakula with distinctions in primary health care, orthopedics, and ophthalmology. Bianca Lua Taut with distinctions in internal medicine, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, ENT, and orthopedics. Elizabeth Christina Tritter. <laughs> Vivian John Turner with seven distinctions. Anesthesiology, primary health care, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, urology, and ENT. Alet van der Merwe with distinctions in ophthalmology and primary health care. Ansa van der Merwe with a distinction in ophthalmology. <laughs> o 
Audrey Erika van der Merwe, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions in psychiatry, surgery, ops and gynae, pediatrics, ophthalmology, anesthesiology, and ENT. <laughs> Valda van der Merwe with five distinctions, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, ophthalmology, and primary health care. Werner van der Merwe, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions, obstetrics and gynecology, internal medicine, anesthesiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, and ENT. <laughs> Willem Krugel van der Merwe with a distinction in ENT. Marizan van Dijk, with distinctions in anesthesiology, primary health care, orthopedics, surgery, ophthalmology, ENT. <laughs> Benda Anne van Niekerk, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions, psychiatry, orthopedics, anesthesiology, ENT, surgery, ophthalmology, urology, primary health care, internal medicine, ops and gynae, and pediatrics. Jenna van Niekerk, who passes the degree cum laude with six distinctions in anesthesiology, primary health care, orthopedics, ENT, ophthalmology, and surgery. <laughs> Jamie Danel van Rensburg. Jock Ernst van Skalkwijk, who passes the degree cum laude with nine distinctions, ENT, orthopedics, ops and gynae, pediatrics, primary health care, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, surgery, and urology. <laughs> Manuela Venter, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions, ops and gynae, psychiatry, pediatrics, internal medicine, primary health care, ophthalmology, urology, anesthesiology, ENT, orthopedics, surgery, and who wins the prize for best student overall in pediatrics and child health, sponsored by the Department of Pediatrics and Child Health, and who wins the prize for the best performance in the domain of internal medicine, sponsored by the Department of Medicine, and who wins the prize for the best overall student in clinical pharmacology in MBCHB 4 and 6. <laughs> Anna Katerina Fenter with distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology, primary health care and internal medicine. Wouter William Verster. Mishka Reza Vincent with distinctions in pediatrics and ENT. Lisa Marie Witt, distinctions in ENT, ophthalmology and primary health care. Wolfgang Sebastian Wild, who passes the degree cum laude with 11 distinctions, ENT, anesthesiology, pediatrics, ops and gynae, internal medicine, psychiatry, primary health care, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery and urology, and who wins the prize for the best performance in cardiology. Shaquille Williams with distinctions in psychiatry, primary health care, ophthalmology, and anesthesiology. Shaquille Haley Williams. Gabriella Helen Wingnian 
who passes the degree cum laude with eight distinctions, anesthesiology, primary health care, pediatrics, orthopedics, ophthalmology, surgery, ops and gynae, and ENT, and who wins the prize for the best performance in the domain of orthopedics, sponsored by the Division of Orthopedic Surgery and the South African Orthopedic Association. Jessica Anke Wolf, who passes the degree cum laude with a distinction in primary health care and ops and gynae. <laughs> Michlali Yelani, distinctions in ENT and ophthalmology. Nicole Elizabeth Zapke, who passes the degree cum laude with seven distinctions in orthopedics, anesthesiology, surgery, ophthalmology, pediatrics, ops and gynae, and internal medicine. <laughs> Brandon Mgobongeni Sibanda. This now brings us to the announcement of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences medals. Our top academic achiever, the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences medal for the top academic achiever is awarded to the MBCHB student who achieved the highest mark taken over the full duration of the program. This person had in MBCHB one an average of 92.3, in two, 88.66. In three, 92.38. In four, 86.87. In five, 85.96. And in six year, 83%, which is an average of 87.7%. So it gives me great pleasure to announce that this award goes to Manuela Vente and Congratulations. <laughs> so it now gives me great pleasure to announce the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences Outstanding Graduate Medal Award to an MBCHB program student. This is for somebody who is both academically sound, has been seen to live our faculty values, and epitomizes our vision of a future doctor. Gives me great pleasure to announce the outstanding MBCHB graduate of 2023 it's going to Glenn John Thatcher. It now gives me great pleasure to announce the Dean's Award for Leadership. This is for outstanding leadership skills and dedication to the advancement of the academic community of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. This year, the Dean chose to award this award to Woody Ravuzzi.
So I'm sure you want to all give everybody another round of applause and congratulations to all our students. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nico Gey van Pitius. I'm the Vice Dean for Research and Internationalization. Uh, another round of applause for our graduates. Thank you. So it's my task to uh, end the proceedings and before that uh, to just thank a few people for their contributions today. So firstly to our guest speaker, Professor Richard Pitcher, for his inspiring talk today. Thank you, Richard. Um, our special guest, uh, Ms. Nomatlubi Georgiosi from Eastern Cape Department of Health, Mr. Monrae Stradung from Western Cape Department of Health, Ms. Sisivu Folose from Western Cape Department of Health, Mr. Stemray Lesh, Whitfield Estate Foundation Trust, Ms. Rabia Awazi, First Strand Foundation, Ms. Kuneth Lali uh, Gugushi, First Strand Foundation, Mr. Monay Dutue Gukusasa, Sifanele Biela, Bukusasa, Mr. Redi Kachatle from Stellenbosch University, and Ms. Anne Havemann Serfontein from Stellenbosch University. <laughs> Thank you to DPK Productions for the technical support for the event, Wanda de Jager and Megan Salon, uh, the Center for Academic Administration and the Marketing and Communications Division for the pledge ceremony arrangements, the faculty and university staff and student helpers supporting these colleagues, uh, to Bjorn and Anz from SU Photography Services, the Development and Alumni Relations Division for all the MBCHB name badges, numerous funders and donors who've contributed to the success of our graduates, especially to the staff and the public who have contributed to the Intemba Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences Bursary Fund. Thank you. A lot of the students dependent on this funding and uh, we sincerely appreciate it. The family, friends, significant others of our graduates, uh, with whose, without whose support, uh, you know, you wouldn't have been here. So thank you to them. Let's clap hands to them. <laughs> to the academic, clinical, and administrative staff that have contributed to our graduate success, including the student affairs, administrative, and support staff, whose efforts often go unseen in supporting our students outside of the academic spaces. And then lastly, to our graduates, thank you for choosing Stellenbosch University as your academic home for a significant part of your 20s. We would love to have you return. <laughs> We would love to have you return in future to pr pursue further studies and um, as Vice Dean of Research to pursue further research studies. We wish you well on your internship and hope that you will keep in touch with your alma mater. So before we conclude the proceedings this afternoon, I'd like to ask the winners of the Academic Achievement Outstanding Graduate Awards, the prize winners and the academic staff representatives for the module prizes the former members of the Tigerberg Student Representative Council, as well as the Dean's Management Team, to please afterwards return to, to the front of the hall for the photographs. And finally, all guests are welcome to enjoy some sparkling wine and juice in the foyer uh, of the Tigerberg Student Center downstairs. So you're now requested to please stand and remain standing until after the academic procession has left the hall. Please rise. <laughs> 